Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, we've been kind of busy this morning. Lonnie's been doing his editing thing and I've started looking up um, 1980s. Yeah, eight, like around 80s to 90, um, the core, the vintage ones. These are the ones with like the big pins and um, their waist has like, I don't know if y'all can see, there's like a little elastic ring in there. Just like the uh, G.I. Joe's have. Yeah, I mean, they're not like crazy money, but I'm kind of, I'm looking up which ones I could sell individually and then I'll just lot the rest up. But while I'm looking them up, I'm putting down values to kind of figure out my lot, lot price. Yeah. Which, um, when, when I do lot prices on figures, I don't take like the value of each and add them up. They get a pretty substantial discount because they're having to buy so many so, ones. So, out. okay, so let's say, let's say you're doing a lot of uh, 10 of those figs and you added it all up and it was, say, $100 if you sold them individually, what would you lot them up for? I would say probably somewhere between 60 to 75 That, that makes sense. Yeah. That sounds about right to me. Because, um, I mean, yeah, they're, they're getting a bunch at once, but... They don't get the exact ones they want. Right. Yeah. They're kind of getting the lot that I put together. Right. Yeah. So that's the way we do it, just to kind of move a bunch of low va lower value stuff at one time. Instead of listing five dollar figures, you know. Yeah, there, so, I guess there would be a happy medium there. And like, if it's higher demand stuff, my my price might be a little higher. These are not necessarily high demand action figures. Oh, you couldn't tell me that. I know. Yeah, based on our results. Yeah. But uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which you'll see in a minute. Yep. Because we already sold uh, in the last video. I think we we sold a two. 200 of them mm -hmm. of that one uh, not 200 mm -hmm. 67 of that one fig yeah and then we had um somebody buy three lots at 40 each yeah and then we sold some more which you'll see here in a minute yeah yeah so i would i would say i think we're pricing them competitively enough that where there is meat on the bone and maybe some people are buying them to resell oh i think definitely they are and and that's great for us we're happy they're happy the end buyer hopefully will be happy so yeah, yeah. there's there's room mm -hmm. there's room yeah got i mean i don't mind doing that these things these suckers are nice though the paint is immaculate on them there's like no rust you know they're just perfect well that's one thing the stuff we have it like the core figs might not be super desirable but the ones we have are mostly like really nice condition now one thing i am kind of keeping an eye on i think and i'm no expert but i don't know if you can tell some of them the pins are different colors which tells me one of them is not the original pin um that's that's what i think at least maybe yeah, yeah. boy so, can you imagine can you imagine someone like replacing a pen on like a, they a do. ten dollar fig or something yeah they do it happens huh? yeah okay um well so, we do we do have uh pretty good many orders going out we had another good sales we've had a couple of good sales days in a row yeah um yeah ebay's really picked up i, um, I don't know what they've done but i like it you know, it might be what we're doing. Maybe, maybe so. We're, we're listing some fre good fresh stuff. Yeah, true. And yeah. Um, I think it is because I was looking. I don't normally look at all the stats and graphs and all that stuff, but um, I was looking like yesterday. Normally, we get like four hundred and four hundred fifty to four hundred eighty thousand impressions on our listings mm -hmm. not page views but impressions right and there was it was either yesterday or day before five hundred and fifty thousand. okay so a hundred thousand more impressions than normal okay so speak to people that don't know what that is explain what an impression is okay i'll show them real quick okay i don't normally go into the into this stuff but i will uh traffic and this is what i'm talking about impressions you can see like 424, or maybe it was less than I even said, 422, 456, 479. That That's the impressions we were normally getting. You see that they're pretty much more or less the same. So the dark blue, is that the organic? I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, it is. So the dark blue is the organic and the green is promoted impressions. Okay. But you could see uh, 
This is Tuesday, 552,000 impressions. 535,000 impressions. So that's like... Uh, we've got a few days over here. Well, this day is like re really high. But the past two days, you can see, have been notably higher. And the only thing that's changed in our store is what we've been listing. Yeah. So... Um, I don't know if that's page, it or page not. Page views correlates with that also. Yeah, look at the page views. Yeah. They kind of correlate with the impressions. Mm -hmm. And then number of sales. Um, this was yesterday, Wednesday. 22 total quantity sold, which is up a pretty good bit. Like, and this is a 30-day look back. Right. You can yeah. see, yeah, 30-day look back, 405 items sold yeah. um, across here, which is... You can see 405 items sold. That's 14.4% higher than normal. Yeah. Or higher than the previous time period, which I think was the previous 30 days, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, that I don't get into this too much because I don't know how actionable that kind of stuff is, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, other than listing different or better stuff, I'm not real sure what, you know what action to take based on that graph being low right. or high. Right. So. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get those orders pulled. Okay. Okay. We have a hydrate bottle. We actually, we sold both of them when I'm uh, a little farther along. So five Charlie, that's the last two in the building. They are gone. The building. The, the building sounds a little too much for the shed. Hydrate has left the building. <laughs> okay, Elvis. So both of these then? Yeah. Okay. Did we get the same number on both? Uh, thirty-five ninety-nine on one and thirty-nine ninety-nine on the other. Okay, and these are both uh, the same, right? Yes. The okay. Chug lids. Alrighty. Turquoise. Okay, we sold a Civil War arms makers in their contracts book. Ah. <laughs> Three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, this book. Oh, this book was, uh, I think Kevin and Danielle book is what this is. It's kind of interesting. Civil War. That I think they actually have like. Fast meals. Hey, look, there's it? an invoice in here. How do you say it? Yeah, I think, uh, or the copies or whatever of all the actual contracts oh. of where they were buying yeah. weapons and stuff. It's, I don't know. This book, Very has, niche. Lost, this book has lost its value. Why, why do you say that? In 1998, the owner of this book paid $34. Okay. And we sold it for $26.24. Okay. Darn. <laughs> Books are losing value. We did not pay $34 for that. Okay, one of the core uh, lots sold. Joe Drawer, core lot F, as in Frank. Joe. Yeah, you definitely have to use the military sounding thing for uh, these. <laughs> All right. Lot F. Foxtrot. $12.99 for those. Okay. 10 Bravo Panini Prism Draft Picks Blaster Box. All three. That's the end of those. All three of these. Here we go. Total of $47.97. We had seven of those and sold them all. Uh, Lindbergh Tractor Trailer Truck Garage Snap Fit Model. Yep. 10 Bravo. I just listed it yesterday. It's really kind of cool. Go trucking big. Had a few miles. I think I listed this one for this was a cheap one, thirteen. I listed this one for thirty. If that with this one sealed, which this one is, you could see the box is rough. Um, this would have been like a sixty seventy dollar model. Nineteen ninety nine. Look how clean that box is. I know, it looks good. That box is from, I think, like late 70s or early 80s. Somebody opened this model and said, nah, and stuck it in a closet. 1980. Yeah. Uh, sold some jungle combat boots, 10 Charlie. Yeah. Bonnie polished them up. I, did, I put a little polish on them. Let's see, 10 Charlie. A little spit shine. I didn't spit on them. <laughs> I did not spit shine. I actually used actual shoe polish and a brush. <laughs> $49.99 for those. Yeah, that was a good buy. We got those uh, church sale for $3 this yep. past weekend. Yep. 
Eight Charlie, uh, Dawkins Mickey Mouse Club doll figure. Eight Charlie, okay. Right, I'll shove this light back here for now. Eight Charlie, Dawkin. Okay, you mean like Dakin? Am I saying it wrong? I don't know if you're saying it wrong or not, honestly. It's on Eight Charlie, yeah. and it's Mickey Mouse. It's a, it's a boy, Mickey Mouse Club house boy. Oh, it's that kid. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Well, he's sitting in a coffee cup back here. Look at him. <laughs> Get out of there, kid. All right. It was, this one kind of confused me because all the little boys I found like that were wearing football uniforms. I couldn't find one in a Mickey Mouse. So it might, we're not sure that he originally wore that shirt. I have no idea. Who knows? That's how we got them though. There was football and some other stuff too. Never found a Mickey Mouse one. It's interesting. It's, he's got a vinyl head and, and then a, a, a plastic. Yeah plastic body it's original funko pop <laughs> 12.99 for why did i say that huh why did i say it like that say what 12.99 12 dollars and 99 cents you've been, you've been hanging out with me too much <laughs> <laughs> all right we have a hobbit box item 42 okay should be the last one of those 42 oh yeah i had a couple of these huh Amazing Spider-Man graphic novel. And also on that order, Italiana. Oh, oh, that was a big order that came through. Yeah. That's right. I've got an Italiana cookbook. So the comic and the cookbook together, thirty-nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. And they're going with him too, right? Yes. Is, is that everything on that order? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> no, it's not. They I also did, that's bought, why I asked because I didn't think it was. <laughs> they also bought a Silver Surfer Prism card. Nine oh, yeah. Bravo Zelda 2. Zelda oh, 2. What is it? Nine Bravo. You could say Zulu or you could say Zelda if you want. I don't care. It don't matter. Let's see. This is the little plastic box that says only pull one on it. To remind myself six dollars and 99 cents okay i'll just i'm just gonna pull one i promise it's still a big nutcracker moses oh yeah you know why because i had to rearrange them to get these guys in there so, so I, you touch moses I moved okay. around and he sold all right she touched moses <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny nothing now you're touching him <laughs> all righty He's got some, looks like he has some rules. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he start, I wonder if it's like a Facebook group where you start off with like one commandment. And you keep adding. And then you're like, okay, uh, y'all are a bunch of. add that to the rules. Y'all are a bunch of idiots. We need another commandment. Or yeah. do you think they started off with 10 commandments, right? $187.49 for oh, that one. Okay. That All was right. a good one there. The next order has four lots of the core action figures. Yes. A, B, C, E. Are they all in the same place? Yes. 10 Charlie. 10 Charlie. Okay. A, B, C, E. A, B, C, E. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Is that all of them? No. Okay. Let's see. Here's... You said four lots, right? Yep. Okay, I got these other two. That's fine. Oh, there's, there's some. Yeah, those were listed later in the day, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I'm wondering what's wrong with those. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. These are a little smaller lots than we did the other day. Yeah, uh, 14, 14, 12, and 10. Ninety-seven dollars and ninety-six cents for those. Okay. And last item is a dog sweater. It's not in a dog box. For Delta, it's a pink dog sweater. Okay. I think it's gonna be in this little box. Oh, it's right here. I think. Yeah, that's all it could be. Yeah, it's pretty. It's getting pretty empty. There's a few things in there. Twelve dollars for that. That's everything. All right, good sales day. Um, man, it's funny when I look at this. All the different sources we have for this stuff. Like, okay, Nutcracker by, garage sale, big dog clothing by, estate sale bulk by, guy by. Uh, I don't know who this is from. 
And then probably Guy, I would imagine. Yeah. Or maybe Kevin Danielle. Guy, garage sale. Guy, guy, garage sale. Guy, guy, Kevin and Danielle. Thrift store. Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> we just shop everywhere. We yep. sell everything. Yep. Let me get this stuff packed up. Well, we didn't get to show y'all our garage sale finds when we picked them up this past weekend. But this is one of them right here. Uh, these little Bose computer speakers in really good condition and um i only had to pay five dollars for them just listed them sorry i'm not sure about that <laughs> you're not sure about that because you said they were a computer oh she thought she said computer what's your story <laughs> <laughs> but uh i was waiting to see what she said <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I listed these for $55 and um, I need to start doing this more often. I forget how quick and easy, like this, putting a video in this thing took me like however long the video is to do it. A okay, quick demo of these little Bose uh, Series 2 Companion 3, I think they're called. They do have all the cables. There's a cable that goes from here to here. There's also a power supply. It's the original OEM power supply. Uh, the only thing to mention, we do have another cable that goes from here, like to the computer. That's really short, just that distance there. Uh, so you may need a longer one. You might have to get yourself. It's a regular mini plug to mini plug cable. Uh, and I have one of our own videos playing. I think about 10 to 15, maybe. Got all that stuff packed and out of here. Um, and we still have, they sound very clear. They sound good. Thanks for watching. And so, yeah, I, I recorded that in 45 seconds, air dropped it to the computer. And then whenever, um, well, I actually built the listing in list perfectly. I don't think you can add video through list perfectly. So after I listed it to, from list perfectly to eBay, then I added in the, um, the video. And I mean, if I was, if I'm going to buy these speakers from someone and all, all else being equal, or maybe even if these are $5 more and I can see them work, uh, I'm probably going to buy these. So Candace, we really need to use that more. Yeah. Oh yeah. And even on something that not, isn't necessarily, um, like electronic where you want to prove it works. Like even something like if we were going to sell this box or something, and you just go around real quick 30 seconds and show them all the angles and you know like video is just so much better than photos i used it yesterday in one of my auction lots oh really um one of the core uh vehicle lots let me let me let me pull it up okay i'll show them okay i don't i didn't even remember you doing this but okay let's see i don't think you were in here when i did it that's weird and i didn't do any talking i just kind of showed it working oh okay i picked it up <laughs> Pick it up, show that it has the missiles underneath and that the wings go in and out, you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Just to show more angles and stuff working on things. It's a quick yeah. way to do it without putting like six pictures, you know. Yeah, and it takes... It that's a 24 second video it took you 24 seconds to mm -hmm. film it and then you just airdrop it and it, like it doesn't add... It doesn't add uh, like hardly any work at all it's right and you could say something works but showing it that that alleviates any doubt that a buyer potential buyer has and so. it might even scare off scammers yeah maybe maybe <laughs> not that we have a huge problem with scammers but like if i was a scammer i would go for the one that didn't have the video of it working if i was going to make a claim that it wasn't working later so. right oh another thing that we showed in the video the missing video missing footage this poster candace saw it at the um church sale where we bought the boots that we shipped earlier yeah and check it out pay two dollars for it two dollars it looks like they did punch holes in it probably to hang it somehow um it's a store type uh it's not poster no like paper it's like cardboard like yeah or yeah a card stock or something yeah, yeah it's thick y'all can see like it doesn't look like poster paper yeah and um, there's a ton of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate posters out there, but you got, I think there was a uh, some kind of promotion 
whenever you bought the game, you would get a free poster at GameStop or something. And those little posters um, are pretty are pretty cheap. They're smaller too. And they're small. This thing is 36 by 26. Yeah. So um, I, it wasn't easy to find comps. As a matter of fact, I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to put on it. Yeah. But uh, one thing that it, it does kind of suck, it's long. Like it, there's no getting around the uh, length surcharge on this one. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, I thought that was a, it's a pretty cool poster. All right, I've been listing. Well, I started out listing a few garage sale things. Mm -hmm. Candace has been doing um, action figure things. I'm still working on the core. I came across the box of the the original like 1986 era, and um. So I went through those and I found, I picked out the ones that were listing on their own that are like $10 or more. And um, I'm doing that and then I made a lot of the rest of them. So that's what I've been doing today. Are you pretty much, are you getting close to done? Yeah, I mean, you know, these lots that I do, they go fast because there's no research. I'm just, you know, so. Oh, um, okay, so those are still ones that you have to lot up. Huh? Right. Okay. And then um, Lottie pulled out the somewhere it's somewhere the box of the star wars action figures um and we're going to talk about that in just a minute i think <laughs> why you've been researching no i see you have a question that pertains to that oh right yeah <laughs> true yeah, or something like that yeah. true yeah. You're, you're right yeah. um and I've, I've moved on i decided to go ahead and start getting um these up where are we at anyways on because the thousand dollar buy we made with guy we're at 1100 right now 1100 yeah and that's is that well no i haven't added your stuff on the board so what have you listed i've today? just listed two prints 60? yeah i listed two of these prints so far uh for 30 for hulk he actually sold He's actually our only sale today so far. Yeah, it's been <laughs> quiet around here. And then um, that Deadpool I listed yeah. for 30 also. Yeah. And then I have all this other... Man, these there's some cool stuff here. They are. Cool. Those are freaking awesome. They are. Those prints. Too bad we can't sell them. And then this is... <laughs> This, well, I mean, if you want to keep them, you can. I don't, I don't know. I'm, if you, if you want to keep them, just keep them. Because then, you know, I gotta go get a frame, get get it framed, and that's more money and. I don't know. If, if you want to, or just choose one. I, I'm pretty sure no, you, don't, you don't want to keep that one. No, right? if I keep any, it'll be that one right there. That's the best one. Yeah. Just keep it. Yeah. Does that mean you're keeping it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if you want, if you decide you want to keep it, I'll tell you what, I'll list it tomorrow. So you sleep on it tonight. If and it's worth $200, we'll sell it. It, it ain't going to be worth $200. Guy wrote seventy nine ninety five on there, which probably means Guy found either a sold or an active. Yeah. For that amount. I mean, look, what is that? How many were made? I can't read that number. It's like twenty. Um. So it can't. says. It's a very short run. Yeah, I can't read it either. Yeah. They all all these pieces have uh, holograms on the back, yeah. like with a um, a QR code and you scan it and it, and it tells it you it brings you to the list to where they sold it uh, but they don't tell you the price they just tell you what it is yeah. it's like an authentication more, well that's good if you if you need to figure out more information on it I guess that's a 20 I don't know oh yeah. you know what's interesting about this um it has it's copyrighted oh it is copyrighted it has so I guess they these are those two I think are licensed okay that's cool not everything's licensed here right yeah you know? Some of, I guess some of it classifies as fan art or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, this is original. That's an original by Tom Hodges, which is the same guy that did those. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I have this auto. This is this is cool. I wonder if that guy's still alive. I don't know. Probably not. And then we have some of these this other stuff here by somebody named Santiago. So that, that's my next... That's my next little project I'm working on right now. And yeah, that's also cool. It is. And the, it, again, like how how huge has it been that I, I know it's a small thing, might seem trivial, but cleaning off that door. Yeah. And, and just being able to throw them up there on that door. Yeah, you did that just in time. I did. Yeah. Of course, Guy might have been watching the video. I think that's the same guy, huh? Hmm? That's the same artist as... Hodges, yeah. Yeah. 
yep the same guy mm -hmm. so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to this but uh oh uh i got some questions out for you okay i, I mean we we haven't been doing a great job of answering questions in the actual oh. youtube comments mm -hmm. that, that's all me i'm supposed to do that I think. yeah but i don't <laughs> It's just, it's just hard sometimes, y'all. It's hard finding the time. It's just as when, you know, when you sit down at the end of the day. Yeah, but when you have a YouTube channel, you still got to do it. I know. And it, I, I need to do it. I do too. That's, no, that's on me. No. I need to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to recommit myself to doing that. I'm going to start bringing Molly to school and picking her up so I can do it in carpool line. No, because that's a, <laughs> it's a big old waste of time. <laughs> and she'd rather ride the bus. She does. She doesn't want to be seen with me. She, she'd rather be on the bus. <laughs> The cheese wagon. The cheese. Riding the cheese. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Lonnie pulled out four questions. Uh, you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay, hit us. What, what you got? Okay, Scott Anderson wants to know, I was just wondering if you were comparing your sale price to the $2,000 eBay store prices they had listed. If you made note of what they had the inventory listed at. Um, I didn't really. I, I did some screenshots, but then I'm like, what's the point? This many items. They're not like an alphabetical order or anything. I'm not going to go back and look at them. So I quit. I don't have them. Of course, the items are no longer on, I was going to say Facebook, on eBay. Right. So no, we have not been comparing. I'm so, because we can't. Yeah. I'm, I am. I mean, it's a great question because I'm curious of the same thing too. Like, yeah. Like some of the stuff, there's stuff that we've been actually selling. If they couldn't sell, I want to know like what, like what, what were they asking for those things? And we just don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I want to know the same thing. Like the things we sell, you know, we sell something for $20, $30. I'm like, well, they didn't sell it. Like how much were they asking? Can you search for things that were ended but not sold, I wonder? Uh, sometimes. It seems like I came across something doing a comp one time on Terapeak and I don't remember how I found it, what I was doing. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't yeah. know. Uh, maybe some maybe some of the next some of the higher things that we feel like were probably listed, we'll try to find them and see. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't yeah. I do know one thing for sure. I know our store has our store has a lot better feedback and our store has um and we, we're taking a lot better photos than the original stuff had and i'm not knocking their photos but ours are just better um and i don't know what the prices are to me that's like that's the, it probably boils down to that it probably comes yeah. down to price and titles can be very important too true titles and item specifics people have to be able to find your thing before they can even look at your price that's true some of the stuff i saw they just they would just have a lot of a uh, lot of six toys right and it would be like things you know what i mean yeah. but it didn't say any There's anything no descriptors yeah nothing in the title about what exactly they were you yeah. know like that wasn't the majority right there wasn't many like that but i did see some like yeah, that so it so. could have been some of that some pricing just you know whatever so yeah but that is interesting and i've thought about that too next question is from uncle Krog. hey guys question for candace did you ever find a way to treat rubber that has gone sticky I thought you did a short blurb about it, but can't find it. I have a lot of Barbie dolls where the leg plastic has gone sticky over time. So the first thing I always try is um, like Dawn dish soap, just diluted in a little, in some water. Um, just in case it's not necessarily the plastic breaking down, but maybe it's just kind of dirty and grimy. Um, after that, honestly, I really don't know. Um, I mentioned the Star Wars, the vintage Star Wars figures we have from the 70s, and some of those are pretty sticky. Um, so actually what I was going to do is post a, um, a thread in the water cooler, the reseller water cooler Facebook group and see if anybody has any tips for me to try and then maybe try that out on, um, one of the cheaper figures, you know, before I go into the more expensive ones. But yeah, if anybody out there has any tips, um, what do you recommend? Of course, alcohol is a big no, no, because that it'll take the paint it'll off the just figures. Make it worse. Yeah. So I, I really, I don't know, um, besides just, just trying to give them a good clean. So I, look, if somebody asked me that mm. I, I've like, ever since I started reselling, I, I it's, turtles are the worst. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're yeah. the worst. 
Yeah. Like the Star Wars figures, we have a couple that are slightly tacky. Yeah. But this the the man, those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man. And yeah. I think they're all like that. It's rare to find one that's not in my experience. Yeah. I've never found one that's not yeah. sticky like that. I haven't. And I don't know. Maybe it's the climate here or something. I don't know. But yeah. Uh Krog, the I the short answer for me is there ain't no way to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> and I found that like you know, on uh, like old remote controls or, yep. or or things like that that have that that soft grip rubber yes. on them. Yeah. I found when that stuff goes sticky too, forget about it. The right. only the only thing you could possibly do with that is uh, remove it. <laughs> like remove that 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 layer that thin rubber layer coating yeah. or, or the, like the alcohol will take care of that for you right it's the alcohol will take it off the dull plastic but at least you don't have a sticky product at that point and just disclose you well know? yeah i just, there's no there's no good answer to this but as far as like collectible toys like barbies and action figures no i don't you know i don't know a way and i wish i did and i wish somebody would invent something <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it's gonna i don't think it's coming I, I mean, I've kind of, I know how to kind of remold things with hot water, you know, remold figures, like I, reshape them. The, the, I think the problem is it's a chemical reaction that's happening. It's just broken down. I think it's happening like within the actual molecules and I don't yeah. think you can actually change that. Yeah. I'm hoping maybe, maybe someone watching this video right now will be like, oh no, silly, you use product X, right. Y, Z and it fixes it. Oh. We're learning, new, we learn new <laughs> stuff every day we yeah. don't know about. Um, and we have asked this before, but so somebody may have discovered something since then. And I've seen people ask it all the time in not only our comments, but in the Facebook groups. Yeah. And I've never seen a good answer for it. Yeah. A so. lot of people say things like just throwing things at the wall. Right. Like anytime you show a stain, what gets this out? And everybody claims they have an answer. Right. Or especially like on a, the, the best is when you get like a pair of shoes that has like really... Um, that real soft rubber where the marker, you know, there, somebody wrote a price on it uh, and the marker has like soaked all the way in. Into the, yeah. And people just, they swear by all these tricks and I tips. I mean, I have heard same premise on the... Um, I just eye, I just eye rolled. He did. <laughs> I, did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Uh, no, no, I'm just eye rolling because whatever you say, like by the, usually by the time someone is is said they they've tried everything most of the normal remedies won't do anything no the the pimple stuff that we use on the um american girl dolls it's yeah. the same premise it's where stuff is soaked into the plastic and it kind of lifts it out of there so that's the only thing that maybe would work in that case yeah yeah i don't know there's something some of these things you just don't have an answer no some of them you're just straight. i need to know though because i need to get those figures listed and it's so funny that Lonnie pulled this question because <laughs> I was thinking today I need to post this in the water cooler. Maybe miraculously somebody has come up with something that doesn't damage the figure. Next question, BLWTV. Sounds like a radio a news station is reaching out to mm -hmm. us. <laughs> it's Look, just in. Looking for tips or advice on where I could possibly source or find products to resell. I have been focusing mostly on DVDs, Blu-rays, but all the thrift stores kind of run dry. Although I have found some decent, although I have found some decent movies, wondering where I could buy bulk DVDs, Blu-rays, or something like you guys have going would be awesome. Obviously, that takes a lot of hard work and dedication, but maybe someone watching is also in Columbus, Ohio area, and can learn me something. Yeah, uh, yeah. he's being funny there. Uh, so, um. Man, for, for that, for media, I don't know about where you live, but where we are, it's all over Marketplace. <laughs> like people trying to sell lots of stuff. Um, and garage sales. I mean, we're always seeing boxes oh, yeah. full. Oh, people uh, selling their right. whole collection. So uh, I know you mentioned thrift stores. Um, I'm assuming you go to garage sales. Um, but also, yeah, Facebook Marketplace. Garage, I see, man, I see media. All the time. All day. Yeah. Like, like media is one of the things that pretty much every garage sale has. Yeah. Or, or at least half of them yeah. have. And it's usually super cheap. Yeah. Um, now, if your question was, I'm just starting to resell, 
Uh, would you recommend I sell DVDs and Blu-rays? I probably would not. No. But it sounds like you're already doing it, and maybe you have you, you probably have knowledge I don't have. Mm -hmm. I, I I will allow that there is some of that that's worth selling, and yeah, we've sold some of it. To answer your question, we see it, we see it here all the time at garage yeah. sales, and search for it on Marketplace. I see people selling whole collections on there too. G getting out there early. Uh, getting out there early on uh, Friday, Saturday morning if you can. Yeah. And uh, he heck, I even see it at estate sales on half price day. Estate sales have a ton of media too. And hey, I mean, when you go into these sales, tell the people, hey, um, I, I love to buy big collections of DV DVDs and Blu-rays. What yeah. you got? Yeah, you have any you want to sell? They might have a bunch of them on the shelf. They might have them in the house thinking nobody would want to buy those and didn't even put them out. You never know. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if, if you have this one thing that you're searching for, ask, ask. ask at every single sale. That's and if true. they said, I do have some, um, I can't get them right now, leave your phone number with them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Like, I think... Hell, we even forget to do that a lot of times. Yeah. Ask for what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. They may not know it was worth anything or that anybody would want it. Uh, maybe, their, maybe their teenager told them nobody wants that anymore so they didn't put it out. Right. You know, or something. They have it in the pile to go to the thrift store. Right. Yeah. Good question. Um, next question is from Laura Smith, CW3FZ. How do eBay international sales returns work? I know eBay says they handle all returns. Does that mean even not as described or broken returns falls on eBay's dollar and does not come back to the seller? I've had a large amount of international sales lately, but have never had any returns. Thanks y'all, keep up the good work. Okay, I guess that'll be me. Yeah, I but, think I know the answer, but I think you know better. No, I mean, it's probably the same. Yeah. Um, so with eBay international shipping EIS, um, been doing it for years back when it was gsp have had some issues with um i've had a couple of damage issues and one with mixed up items i've had two two times where they mixed the items up mm -hmm. and somebody ordered i don't, I don't it remember. was a statue and they a got statue. they got like a car part they got like a fender to a volvo or something yeah. i don't remember what it was <laughs> Uh, they, they showed me pictures and it was it's like these, these yeah. huge boxes. I'm like, no, we did not send you that. <laughs> Another time somebody ordered a clown and they got a dress, like a cocktail dress or something. Yeah. Uh, and they took care of that. And I've, I have had a couple of damage claims, mm -hmm. none recently. Um, and eBay took care of that or their, or whoever does contracts that stuff out for them. Right. Now, they may ask for pictures. I don't know on their end. Like if there's an issue, they may ask, hey, show me a picture of that nutcracker that got sent to you and they show a Funko Pop or whatever. And it's if it's something different, then maybe there may be a different answer. I, I'll tell you what. I don't know. Like, I, I hate, I, I, I don't like to like speak as an authority on things that I don't know for sure. Yeah. But um, I've heard, I've seen a lot of people talking about eBay international shipping and every single one of them that I've ever seen, they've said they I've never heard of someone having a, a problem with something they sent via EIS. Yeah. So I'm not saying like if item not as described, I don't know. Like it, if y'all, those of y'all watching, if you've had like a issue where customer said item not as described and eBay can't came, came back after you, you know, maybe it wasn't in the condition you said it was in or, or whatever. Um, or maybe you sent out um, a counterfeit item unknowingly or, you know, wh whatever that issue might be where you would get an item not as described. Yeah. Or maybe it was the wrong size or, you know, something like that. If, if y'all could relate that experience down below, I have not personally had anything like that. I don't think they're supposed to stand good for item not as described. I wouldn't think so. But, I mean, but I, I would also recommend you go look at the eBay page on eBay International Shipping. It does say it's the way they word it is kind of weird. If a buyer reports an item was lost or damaged during international shipping, or it is damaged at the hub, we'll work with the buyer to resolve the issue. Period. You're protected from. 
the obligation to refund the buyer. <laughs> I get basically telling you, you don't have you, to refund you're not the buyer. Have to re but I, I don't. What I don't know is if it's just blatant, uh, like you drop the ball. You know. No, what I don't. What I was going to say is I don't know if this sentence right here is supposed to be in context with this sentence right before it because right. they're talking about damage. Yeah. So, because they, they say, that's why I said period, you're protected from the obligation to refund the buyer, eBay money back guarantee cases, payment disputes, open not as described returns in your service metrics, negative or neutral feedback related to item handling during international shipping maybe if you don't have a lot of um item not as described in your history they just go ahead and take care of I, it i'm not sure but i yeah. can, all i can tell you for sure is in our experience um in most cases i feel more comfortable selling something via eis than i would selling that same item to someone that lived uh, a few doors down I think it's a safer transaction if that if that happens through EIS. This is interesting. In my too. experience. I don't know if you read this section. What's that? Um, if you receive a negative or neutral feedback related to item handling during international shipping, we'll remove it. Yeah, but that's... That's if they open a return. Um, yeah, but that's very specific to item handling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and if they open a return, it's going to go back to eBay. And it says you may or may not get the item back. I've so, never gotten an item back. Yeah, I think they just kind of refund the um, buyer and they sell it somehow. <laughs> right. <laughs> they might have a store somewhere. I don't they know. They probably do. They probably have a pallet store they put yeah. it all in or something. Or so, a thrift store. A bin store. <laughs> <laughs> what, where is that stuff? I know. Whatever happened to that clown? Right. And whatever happened to that statue? I'm going to go shopping at that store. Me too. Me Anybody too. know where that is? <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.